Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here again from HolsingersFlyShop.com and Posted Outdoors. Uh, the fly I'm going to tie for you today is my baby rainbow pattern. I really like this pattern. I uh, fish it on my nymph leader. I actually fish it, fish it downstream with them on my nymph leader. Works real well for me that way. I have swung it as a streamer or wet fly or whatever and I've caught fish on it that way too but I do real well with it fishing it on my nymph leader. Um, some of the material here you have to pick up in craft stores and stuff like that. I'll tell you that in a video. Uh, but the rest of it you can get on our website, wholesingersflyshot.com. And anything else you need, we have it for you. And don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel because we're always adding new videos. Thanks a lot. Okay, this pattern here is the Baby Rainbow Streamer pattern. This is one of my favorite ones to fish here. I use this... Uh, tying it with a red thread okay and I'm tying it on a size 10 Daiichi 1260 streamer hook you'll see there's a curve in this hook um, I more or less tied on this one because I like the size of the hook not so much the, the curve but I like the size of the hook um, I use this fly I fish it as a nymph it's a streamer but I fish it on my nymph leader I fish it on the bottom and uh, I've fished it on the swing a few times as, as a streamer, but it's very, very, very productive as a nymph. Um, what I start out with is a medium done saddle hackle. Okay, I'm going to take the big long ones off the back of the hackle, and I'm going to take the tip of it, and I'm going to use the tip of this. I know it doesn't show up right on my against my shirt here. But I'm going to take the tip of this and I'm going to strip it back and this is going to be the back, the tail fin on this. Okay, so I'm just going to strip back the fibers on this and I'm going to do this with two of them. I have one set aside already. But just strip it back about that much then trim off the rest of the, ha the, rest of the hackle there. And then like I said, I'm going to use two of them on this. I'm going to put one on each side and I'm going to have the inside of the feathers facing each other. So the so the feathers go together. And tie them on one at a time here. And you want them the same length. And like I said, you want the two insides to go against each other so it keeps it straight and, and flowing right back through there. Okay, once I have my tail, there's my tail tied on, you can see. Probably should have another shirt on, but we'll just keep going here. Um, the next thing I'm going to add to this is a piece of red ultra wire in uh, brassy size. Just a small thin one. Tie that on, wrap it back to the bend. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to use, it's kind of like um, Krennic material or it's like a braided, flashy braided material. Um, this was just a color I picked up at a fly shop somewhere. I'm not even sure what color it is. You can, if you go into your craft store and you go into the aisle where, where your kids go to get to make the stuff, thread to make their bracers to the embroidery thread which I use on some of my other streamers um, if you go in and get that embroidery thread there's a really flashy embroidery thread in there um, look around at the different colors of it I'll show you one of them here in a second but this color here is like a green and bronze color I just like a lighter color to make this body um, I have a rainbow color I'm gonna use here in a minute but I like a lighter color on the body so I'm just going to take and I'm going to wrap this forward and create the body on this fly. The red lead wire that I'm, or not lead, the, the red um, ultra wire that I'm about to put on it, probably really don't need it. Um, you really, it's really not going to show up that well. I guess I'm just adding a little bit of strength with it. Plus there's a lot of red in a, in a rainbow with the stripe and stuff, so I, I think that's why I keep it there. But this is a pattern. I was fishing one time at one of my local trout streams. 
and the guy with fishing wasn't real great, and the guy walked up the stream and I started talking to him. And I started looking at what flies he had. He was telling me what he was using, and I started what, looking at what flies he had on his rod, and he had a fly that looked similar to this. And I said, what is it? And he said, well, that's a baby rainbow pattern. Well, he didn't tell me how to tie it or anything. I just pictured it in my mind and come home and tied it the best I could. Man, I've caught a ton of fish on it since then. So pay attention when you're out like that. When somebody tells you something, you might pick something up. Anyhow, we're going to wrap this red wire up here. And then we're going to wrap it down. This isn't a hard one to tie. I mean, it's not simple, but it's not hard either by any stretch. Okay, I'm going to get my, red, my wire wrapped down there. The next thing I'm going to do is remember that feather that we took off the, for the tail with here, that we cut off for the tail. I'm going to use this as the hackle on it. I'm just going to pull a couple fibers off here so I have something to tie down to. And I want these to be... Oh, before I do that, sorry. Before I do that, I was saying about that embroidery thread. And it comes in a rainbow color. Get this to focus. I use this embroidery thread. This stuff here we sell at the shop. It's Senyo Wacko Hackle. But you can pick up something very similar to it at your local embroidery or local craft shop in that embroidery thread aisle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it on the one side. I'm going to work this so I get it tied down onto the one side. I'm going to start it out loose and wrap it tight to get it down there so it all stays to the side. Then I'm going to wrap it around the front over the top. You can see how I got it lined up with the back side here where you can't see it. I'm going to lay this over top. I'm going to get this going the same way down the other side. And this is a little bit tricky to get these both to stay and to wrap them because you this is going to make your stripe of the rainbow here. I'm just going to pull these back, get a couple wraps. Okay, now on a rainbow, the stripe doesn't go back over the tail and stuff, so it's not going to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them short, about halfway back my tail. Do that on both sides. Okay. Now I'm going to come back in with that hackle that I just said about. Hold it down. I want long hackle fibers here. I want this to, to lay back over it. It's going to give it some of that gray color. Okay, and I'm going to put a couple wraps on this. And as always, when you're wrapping hackle on, you don't, you don't want to trap it down. You always want it to, to flow back. So as, as I'm wrapping, I'm pulling it back. Okay, now I got a couple wraps on here. I'm going to tie it off. Okay, sometimes with the bead, if you pull the bead back, it'll pull the pull the stuff back with it there, as you'll see, and get it out of the way. Okay, then I'm just going to take and wrap this hackle so it lays back like I want it to. Okay, now I'm going to come in and finish this off with a little ball of ice dubbing. I'll put the front here. Wax my thread up. And I'm using peacock ice dubbing. I'm going to put a little collar up here behind the behind my uh, my ball. This is a 1 8 inch multi ued rainbow brass bead right here. I like using this, especially on a colorful fly like this. I really like the 
the flash that these beads give off. I'm gonna make sure I get that laid back there. Okay, get that head. Trim a little bit. Alright, and make a couple wraps here and then knot this off. About four or five knots there and you'll be good. And that is my baby rainbow fly. Like I said, I fish this. You can fish it on the swing. Um, I have fished it on the swing, but I have way more success with it fishing it as a nymph.